Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to Macho Gaming. And today we are back again with some more WWE 2K24 My Rise Unleashed. And as I said in the last episode, we would see what Troy Simpkin wants with AJ Lee, so let's just get this over with. What now? My thoughts exactly, AJ. First off, love this energy. Tough, no nonsense, brutal. It's working. Secondly, how would you feel if I said Minneapolis, money in the bank, you, Piper Niven, in the ring, making magic happen? What's the catch? No catch. I just think we should reward a superstar who has earned a big opportunity with a big stage. Then why are you sweating? Okay, fine. You want the truth? You terrify me. These days, whenever I'm within about 20 feet of you, I just naturally and instinctively clench. So I thought, maybe if you had a reason to like me, it would make it less likely that you'd take out all your inner turmoil on my outer face. Plus, you deserve it. Truly. So what do you think? Money in the bank? Oh. Honestly, I would love to pound your face. But, facing Piper Niven in Minneapolis for a chance to qualify for money in the bank, that's just as good. I should have struck fear into your heart earlier. I want the match. Great. It'll be great. Cap is where it's at. So we're good, right? No. As long as you stop sniveling. I... will try. Alrighty, so we're heading to Minneapolis to face Piper Niven to qualify for the Money in the Bank ladder match. Which is dope, because that's my home state of Minneapolis, Minnesota. So this is going to be fun. I get to unleash some brutality on Piper Niven and qualify Troy again. Hey, there she is. Uh, I, I want you to remember that I am just the messenger. What now? Of what message? That, due to events outside of my control that had absolutely nothing to do with me, your match here at Money in the Bank has been cancelled. Don't hurt me. Why wouldn't I? I came here to break Piper Niven in a match that you personally offered me. If I'm here, I'm breaking someone, Troy. Again, not my fault. Extenuating circumstances. Since we're in her hometown of Minneapolis, Molly Holly wants to have a comeback match tonight. We couldn't say no and had to bump another match from the show. Oh, okay, so it wasn't for a qualifying match. We're actually at Money in the Bank in Minneapolis. Shoot. I would love to have Money in the Bank in Minneapolis one day. I mean, I know they got SummerSlam coming up here in two years, but I would definitely like Money in the Bank. I've met Molly Holly a few times. She's fantastic. It's really, when you think about it, a geographical Minneapolis problem. Which means if you're mad, it should only be at the Earth itself. Or Molly Holly. Yeah, sure. Her too. Definitely not Troy. Just remember that in a situation like this, my hands are tied. Oh. <sighs> Alrighty. So it looks like we're going to fight Molly Holly. Wait, was there anything on my social media? Nope, nothing. Alright, let's just go fight Molly Holly. Oh, Randy's texting me. Well, if anybody knows about Ascending Legends 
away, it would be him. This dude was known as the Legend Killer. Change making a big night even bigger as Money in the Bank is also homecoming night here in Minneapolis for legend and three time champion Molly Holly. Everyone loves a homecoming, everyone loves a comeback. And for these fans to get both those things in one, what the hell? Whoa, I just hit her with an RKO. I don't know what that was all about. You want to know what that was all about? I was supposed to be on Money in the Bank, and then I got cut. So, that's payback. And that sucks too, because like I said, I've met Molly Holly twice, and she's a fantastic woman. So that kind of stung for me to do. Oh, we're in. Things are getting interesting. Justine, okay, what do you want? Don't you look awfully proud of yourself? I would have been happy to do my fighting in the ring. It wasn't my decision to take that option away. Ugh, this is exactly the kind of free for all indie nonsense I tried to beat out of you back in the PC. <laughs> Guess you're not as good of a mentor as you thought you were. Oh, wow. Are you under the impression this attitude is going to help you? Pretty much, yeah. The only impression I'm under is that I deserve a seat at the table. And if WWE management wants to kowtow to some decrepit dinosaur parading around like she still has a place in the ring, I'm happy to show that dinosaur the door. I assure you, Molly Holly is very anxious to show you just how much of a place she still has in the ring. And despite my own history with her, so am I. Uh, tell Molly I'm ready whenever she is. Rhea and I will take you both on. Oh, shoot. You know what? There was a shit ton of tag team matches in the last Let's Play, so I'll handle Molly on my own. Tell Molly, I'll happily ruin another one of her nights anytime she wants. I'll let her know, and we'll see. Molly's a lot tougher when she knows you're coming. It's not that I don't want to get Rhea involved, it's just... There was one too many tag team matches in the last Let's Play I did. Plus, it's not every day. Hey, two former legends, or well, two legends of this industry get to battle it out. Plus, the whole point was to have AJ Lee come back and fight current day superstars. But I would not mind seeing her battle a WWE Hall of Famer. The fact that AJ Lee is not in the Hall of Fame yet is a crime. We don't really need to see my entrance since we've seen it like a thousand times. But what does Molly Holly come out to? Well, there's the WWE Hall of Famer Molly Holly, former three time women's champion, hardcore champion. Alrighty, Molly, let's see what you got. That was a clean RKO from AJ Lee, by the way. Tie up the knees. Into a back breaker. Holly 
AJ Lee is really bringing the fight to Molly. Oh, and she just kicked me right in the gut. Counter. Dez press right to the face. Time to go up top. Ooh, a big, big leg drop. And they go for another backbreaker. Big splash. Ooh. Okay, there's a reversal. But I counter right back. Boom! Take that, Molly. Oh, I was not supposed to. That did not go as planned. Oh, no. And it didn't even give me an option to counter. Okay. Okay, maybe Molly is a lot more tougher than I thought. Oh, no, no, no. I'm not paying attention. I'm still not paying attention. No way am I going to tap out to that. And she countered. Not even a one count, Molly. Uh oh. I had I had to use resiliency. There was no way I was going to be able to get out of that in time. Wait, wait. Yes, yeah, count ref. Count, count, count. Alright, time to get up, Molly. Just so I can knock you right out. And BAM! Lights out. One, two, three. AJ Lee takes home the W over Molly Holly. I barely even broke a sweat in that fight. And that just proves that AJ Lee still has what it takes to be a top superstar in the WWE. Despite what management wants. Tonight, I proved a point about who still has a place in WWE. Ever since I stepped foot here, I've been bombarded with endless praise for the so-called legends. We love them. We adore them. We hold banquets in their honor. <laughs> but at some point, every banquet has to end. And yet, there are some legends here in WWE, who refuse to get up from the table. They finished their meal, had some dessert, polished off a cup of coffee or two, even paid the bill. Do they care that others are waiting for their chance to sit down? Do they care that the staff wants to leave? No. They just sit there. Blissfully unaware. Uh oh. Everything. You were spitting out some truth, but now you gotta deal with Beth Phoenix. These rotten relics don't even know. Oh man. Beth Phoenix couldn't stand any more of the disrespect. It looks like Beth wants to settle this right now. How are you still here? Isn't your husband in another company? When the action takes place, all right, well. Oh crap. Attempt to knock out Beth Phoenix. Oh great. Stay away from my rental car. 
should have ponied up for the insurance, you cheapskate. Oh, crap. Dropping the knee for more punishment. Yeah, this is not good. At least. Oh, okay. Climbing up we go. Okay, she probably could have actually just stopped me from climbing all the way up, but whatever. Now I wait for her to come up here. Wait. Oh, crap. She's gonna. I'm gonna meet her at the elevator. Oh great. I didn't even realize that we could use elevators. For goodness sakes. Okay, there we go. Come at me. Boom. Guys, we are a long way from your standard wrestling match here. This is just turned into a damn fight. She saw that one. Of course it's turned into a damn fight. But it's a good fight. She tried so desperately. Get your ass up, Beth. So I can put you right back down. Continuing to work on the arm with a Vicious knee drop, and these areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're reading the science, Cole. They're too busy beating the tar out of one another. She has her target weighed and measured. She's getting back up. Come on, she get up, get up. I ain't got all day. <laughs> That's a satisfying sound. Boom. Okay, there we go. Goodness, hitting so hard that the bolts just bursted off the railing. And I don't know what's going through these superstars' mind. Aren't they aware of the dangers up there? I think they're blinded by adrenaline at this point, Michael. Planning on what to do next. Oh, what was that? Oh crap, she no sold it. Nice try, Beth, but only I can no sell. Oh, that didn't work. And I just cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. I know there's a lot of disdain between these two, but there has to be a better solution than duking it out backstage like this. Able to elude it. Whoa! That's gotta be it. I don't know how anyone can survive that. Smart decision by her. Choosing to de-escalate things a little. That was a whole other level of brutality. Okay, how the hell did she just get back? I got back for that. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Oh crap. Nice try. Oh, I was supposed to drop kick her, but she countered. Oh no. Uh oh. She saw it coming. Oh, leg Larian. No, I wanted to grab the shovel. <laughs> I just threw it at her. I wanted to bury her with it. Alrighty, lights out, Beth. I need that. Oh, that didn't put her out. I thought that would have put her out.
<laughs> I love just throwing weapons in this game. It's so much fun. Alright, get up, Beth. Oh no, she countered. And that wasn't supposed to happen. Damn! Beth is a lot stronger than I thought she was. Then again, and oh! Des press into a bitch slap. Oh, I thought that she was gonna go for the bitch slap, but nope. Alright, this should put her away. Hadouken! Seriously? It still didn't knock her out? That was on the concrete floor. Bam! Okay, that put her away. My goodness. I threw this woman off the top of a balcony into a stage light. And that didn't knock her out. I mean, AJ Lee was cutting a major pipe bomb promo right there. Speaking nothing but truth. Until Beth Phoenix came out of nowhere and jumped me. I really could have used Rhea's help, but whatever. I got the job done. Ooh, a tables match? Say less. We got ourselves a tables match on Raw. Rhea, what do you think about all this? You just gotta help turn the block, can you? Nope. I'm just fighting for what's mine. That wasn't a criticism. Just remember, you're facing someone who's forgotten more about wrestling than half the roster's ever known. Now that you've got her angry, make sure you finish the job. Not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna make her dream of retirement. Yeah. Show the glamour's on, it's time for her to get glamour gone. <laughs> Good one. And that's the plan. You know, this whole time I thought I would be feuding with Rhea Ripley, but I've actually enjoyed my time as a heel. It definitely brings back the nostalgia of the AJ Lee character. But now she's going up against Beth Phoenix, a w another WWE Hall of Famer, former multi-time Divas Champion and Women's Champion, in a tables match. Now this should be, this shouldn't be too hard. And if I can take down Molly Holly that, then taking down Beth shouldn't be. Oh wait. All right, time to skip my intro. Okay, what's up with the game? Okay, there we go.